Can you believe it, guys? This this dude, <laughs> these dudes. Yes, I'm talking about myself in two third. Yeah, you know. Uh, what's up, guys? Yes. You you know what it is. You know what this means? It means y'all's gonna get salty. Y'all's gonna get really, really salty. It's one of those talking vlogs again. One of those sad, sad where y'all realizes how worthless his life is. Actually having to do the dishes at home, whilst he does everything else at home. <laughs> no, but like, all joking set aside and a hashtag no soul here. I've come to that realization in life where I'm practically living on my own. Or I'm, I've come to that realization what it takes to live on your own compared to actually living on your own. No, but like, yes, this is going to be ranty. Uh, I still live at home, okay? No biggie there. I'm, I'm not proud of it or anything. It just comes, comes... Well, it's the facts. Sad, sad facts. A little bit of, ooh. And I've come to the realization. God, I do many of the chores here at home. On like a normal week, I probably do like 75% of all the shores, and that's just those easy ones, those like everyday shores. Okay, I'm selling myself short here. And I have it's like. I don't get, I don't think that mom values me enough for the amount of work that I actually do. It's like she takes it all for granted. Hashtag sad virgin talk to K18 wall. No, but like, seriously, okay. Here's a lesson for every teen out there. If you do live at home, pitch in. Trust me, it will make your lives a hell of a lot easier. Pitch in and help for every now, every now and then. Trust me. Trust me, it will help your lives. Advice number two. Try to avoid doing the dishes. Accept anything, everything else except doing the dishes. Or do having to do dish the fucking cutlery. I don't mind doing the dishes as per se, but the forks, the knives, those things are like the most hateful thing I need, n n hateful things I know to do. Eh. Good English! Yes, as you can see, I'm really good at English. Scratch that here. You can hear my flawless English, can't you? I know I can. Man, do I talk flawless English or what? Secondly, I'm coming off a good week. Like, I know it's the almost. Me, 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 me. I'm stuttering. I know it's the most said thing when I talk about more. How was my week? I'm coming off a good or a bad week. I have to say though, guys, with the risk of repeating myself, I actually come from a good week. I felt, I felt content with myself, content the way I've acted, content in the things that I've done. I, I've just been content. That's the thing about me this week. The key word is content. I've not done that much. Like, okay, we played disc golf. That's special. 
I played disc golf with a girl. That's special. I like that girl. Yo, well, everybody likes that girl. She's great. She's like, she's got manly humor. I appreciate that. Every girl that has manly sense of humor, I appreciate. Mostly because it's, it's so fucking unique, like a girl with manly humor. Those types of girls are like easy to hang out with. I have to say. Those types of girls are like easy, easy to hang out with. Like really, really easy. God, this is tiring. No, but if we are to go to this funny thing again. So, I was talking about chores before I rudely interrupted myself. Like, hey, <laughs> hey. Oh, this, this angle is so flattering. Uh, I was talking about chores, okay? And I've come to that realization that there is no chore I hate as much as doing the dishes. Cleaning the floors, no biggie. Cleaning the closet. Closet. Uh, no biggie. However, doing the dishes, man, it tires me. It's like, I'm figuring you should I take one of the knives and plunge it into my own throat. Actually cur committing suicide because it's it's like it's, it's so boring. It is like quite literally the most boring shore in the entire world. In the entire world. Saying, oh well, ain't, it ain't, ain't that bad. It's like jabbing a knife in my heart. Yeah, doing the dishes aren't that bad. XD. Got any more nice yolks? It's mostly due to the fact that we've got. Like, here's the thing with uh, me doing the dishes, or us doing the dishes. We have, like, such strangely formed things. It sounds like, oh my god, you're all crazy, but... Like, take, take my mom's bowl addiction. She's got a severe addiction at collecting different shaped sized bowls. And actually dish, doing the dishes with those bowls, when they are dirty with uh, god knows what, uh, cream, ice cream, fucking soup, anything like fat from salami. It's like, it's a never ending job over the fact that they have like 10,500 folds you need to clean out. In order to actually get to the dark. Yes, I need some water. Uh. And man, let me just say, guys, let me just say, you know what? Uh, you know that I touch on this subject eventually. It's this golf season. Finally, it's like God, I use like a lot. Anyway, it brings me such joy. My favorite pastime of all times is finally po upon me, and it's like I I, I can't like get pleased, uh, get displeased now. 
I mean, it's disc off season. Sure, I've thrown away like more discs than I want to like admit. However, it's it's disc off season. Do I need to say more? I mean, if you haven't played this golf yet, guys, make sure that you do, because it's actually really, really satisfying. It's actually really, really satisfying. Believe it or not. It brings you so much joy. It's a nice thing you can do with your family. It's a nice thing to do with your friends. It's good exercise. I mean, the only benefits with this golf. There are only benefits with this golf. No matter how you put it, it's just a barrel of laughs in it. It's just such a joyous occasion for me and for everybody because a happy Joel brings a happy life or what do they say I don't know happy Joel happy life happy Joel happy life god I hate you in Yiddish yes another sad view into my sad sad life the worst thing is, okay, let me tell you about this then, okay? If you ever want to get, like, friendly with a Swede, this is, like, my top tips on how to become a Swede. Complain about the weather. Like, no Swede is, like, ever content with the weather. It's either too hot, too cold, too sunny, too snowy, too wet, and so on. And we all do love one thing in life. And that is complaining about it. God, nothing gets us weird up than like complaining about the weather. Whoo! Believe you and me, guys. If you ever want to initiate, the, unlike one of these social persons, where I like, yeah, if I stand at the register and I see that the guy behind me is like looking funny at me, I, I initiate the conversation because that's me. I'm one social motherfucker. And whenever you want to like initiate the contact with a Swede without the Swede actually thinking, oh, hey, look, this dude is strange, start talking about the weather. It's like, oh, he, he knows the weather, then uh, let's praise him. I, I'm not joking with you either. That's like the saddest part of the of the uh, this whole thing. You want to get in touch with us, we talk about the weather. Then you'll have a friend for life. That's for sure. Complaining about the weather. God, I'm almost done. I mean, I'm, I'm not kidding with you with the, when I said that this is the worst thing I know. This is, like, by far the worst thing I know. It doesn't bring me joy. It brings me sadness. And, like, if I had unlimited money, and now we're talking, like, unlimited, unlimited funds, Whenever I used, uh, whenever I had used cutlery, I would just throw it away. If I had the funds to do it. Because there is like, okay, doing the dishes and so on. Like, uh, plates, cut, plates, bowls and so on. Okay, sure, it's tedious, but you can do the dishes effectively and then it's like... You're done with it, okay? Cutlery, then. There's no way, effective way of... There's no... 
like surefire effective way of doing the cutlery. It's just like, okay, one spoon, one fork, clean it thoroughly, I'm done. One spoon, one fork, clean it thoroughly, I'm done. It's like a never ending cycle of tediousness. And I am caught right in the smack damn middle of it. I'm almost done though. I've only got these like horrendous cocktails for to remain uh, cocktail forks remaining. And the smell. Ooh, don't get me started on the smell guys. Also fucking horrendous. Everything about everything about doing the dishes is horrendous. Time waste. And yes, I know that there's some of you, you environmentalists out there that is going to complain about me wasting water. I don't care. You can complain all the way you want. You can come come here and do the dishes for me. Show me how to do the dishes effectively. Maybe I'll change, maybe I won't. Who knows? The only happy thing about this, this is that I'm done. I fucking hate doing the dishes. God. God, when, when I get a girlfriend, guys. When I get a girlfriend, it's like she's going to, as long as she'll, she's going to do like 50% of the dishes, I'll do everything else. Yeah, see ya.